We created a, uh, a lock system, um, and so this lock, it works through sound. So we have a, um, a speak, uh, microphone here, and it detects a specific rhythm. So you have to have the right tempo and the right space between beats for it to, to detect the, uh, for it to unlock. So let me just plug this in. So it starts in an unlocked state. We have a server right here. This is kind of proof of concept, so it's not the most sturdy of things. Just a little cardboard, little flap. So I'll put that here to demonstrate. So plug that here. So let's say we want to set a code. So we're going to hold the button for two seconds so, or that. Oops. Huh. You got it. So it, it detects it three times in a row, both to make sure you can enter the code repeatedly and also to average the results together so that if you were a little quick or a little slow on one of the taps, that you don't have to do that consistently, that it knows what you meant to do after a few tries? Um, luckily, we have a preset code, so instead of boring you all, we'll just uh, lock this button. We'll lock the safe. <coughs> Let's reset. <be simple. laughs> yeah. <laughs> We were having hardware issues with our yeah, buttons. This was, button is not was, very kind. It was working really well. <laughs> oh, jeez. And if you need to set it to so easy to unlock, a single clap is always repeated. So now if we press the button. Well, this is embarrassing because this worked. Two minutes ago. And worked two minutes ago. <laughs> can we, can we, can you come back to us? Now the lights. Yeah. Yeah, so the lights. So basically we have a lot of light and sound systems that denote different things, so. That's if it works. Um, let's say we put a code that's wrong. <laughs> so let's do that a couple more times incorrectly. So we so now on the third lock, it'll, it, on the third fail, it'll kind of lock. So it's just simulating calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, then we let's let's just try programming. We'll try programming a code. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. Let me just reset this whole thing. <laughs> this will work. Okay. Let's try programming a new code. <laughs> it's the unfortunately the sensor like to determine what kind of sound it's supposed to register. There are a lot of difficulties, and Harry can talk about it's, those. The sensor has a tremendous amount of drift, about five times as much drift as it actually has sensitivity to sound. So before every single sound measurement, we have to take a background reading. It also only detects low pitched claps. If you hit your finger to your palm, it won't detect that noise. If you palm to palm, it will detect that noise. It also requires fairly loud claps. A gentle clap won't set it off. You have to really make a fair amount of noise. And also, depending on how your hands come together, the sound comes out in different directions, mm -hmm. causing it to detect it or not detect it. So obviously, part of phase two, we already expand on this, is to get a better piece of sound sensing hardware okay. that is capable of detecting a broader range of sounds with a little more sensitivity. Yeah. That's our, that's our project. But it worked for proof of concept. <laughs>